Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ravi Singh and I'm going to help you understand great engineering concepts around us. For that, you just need to hit the subscribe button down below. This video is made for discussing a very important concept in fluid mechanics and that is, is variable density incompressible flow possible? So let us first discuss what the incompressible flow is. A flow for which volumetric strain that is change in volume with respect to original volume is zero that flow is said to be incompressible flow so we can express it mathematically as del u by del x plus del v by del y plus del w by del z is equal to zero now there is one important thing for any kind of flow that the general continuity equation must be satisfied so what the general continuity equation is let us see the general continuity equation is del rho by del t plus del rho into u by del x plus del rho into v by del y plus del rho into w by del z that must be equal to zero so this needs to be satisfied for all kinds of flow now let us consider two cases the first case is density is equal to constant and the second case is density is variable Now the purpose is that incompressible flow must be possible in the case of variable density and in both the cases the flow is incompressible that is in both the cases del u by del x plus del v by del y plus del w by del z is equal to zero this must be satisfied so now let us do further simplification of this general continuity equation because this must be satisfied in both the cases. So the general continuity equation is del rho by del t plus this I can write it further rho this plus now combining the similar terms together this term u del rho by del x plus v del rho by del y plus w del rho by del z plus take the density common del u by del x plus del v by del y plus del w by del z is equal to zero now this term is nothing but the interpretation of incompressible flow so in both the cases, I'm telling that the flow is incompressible. So this must be zero. This term vanishes. So I'm only having this term that is del rho by del t plus u del rho by del x plus v del rho by del y. And this must be equal to zero. So that the general continuity equation, general continuity equation must be satisfied. So I've taken two different cases. In the first case, the density was constant. So just see it clearly. When I'm telling that the density is constant in the first case, then density is constant with respect to time as well as with respect to space. 
so if density is constant with respect to time and with respect to space then this whole term will be equal to zero and hence the general continuity equation is satisfied and we are telling that when the density is constant then the incompressible flow is possible so that is just a special case let us take the second case when the density is not constant that is the density is variable that is density is variable again this must satisfy in order to general continuity equation to be valid so here i am telling that density is not constant but yet this term needs to be zero in order for the general continuity equation to be satisfied so for that this term must be equal and opposite to this term so that this plus this will be equal to zero and we'll say that the general continuity equation is satisfied and hence the flow is incompressible even when density is not constant that is density is variable it means the magnitude of these two must be same but the sign must be opposite that is del rho by del t is equal to negative of u del rho by del x plus v del rho by del y plus w del rho by del z so this and this the magnitude of these two must be same and they are both opposite in sign then we are we can say that it will satisfy the general continuity equation thus the flow is incompressible even when the density is variable so this is all about this video thank you also for more exciting contents about science related stuffs in the form of news videos or articles don't forget to like our page science talk on facebook for which the link is given below